Hey everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. I got this Winnie the Pooh shirt on sale at the Disney store over Christmas. I love it so much. You're never too old to wear a Winnie the Pooh shirt. And I would like to say a huge thank you to NGA for sending me this Rainbow High Karma doll for free. She is the second to last Rainbow High Wave 2 doll that I am going to be unboxing for you. Amaya will be the grand finale, including the wig that MGA sent me along with the doll. So Karma, I don't really know that much about. Um, so we're gonna have to check uh, the wiki. So let's do that now. So the Rainbow High Wiki is the great the great place for everything Rainbow High that you need to know in life. And I will put a link down below. Um, so it really helps you to get to know the characters, even the background characters it helps with. So um, Karma, is Karma the one that had a hat like in early, in early versions of her outfit and then they like it wasn't there anymore? I seem to think. So uh, her theme color is neon chartreuse. Now that's that's a color there for you. Um, her three word description, confident, neon, trending, favorite activity, digital media. Uh, so let's see, Karma's story is she's majoring in digital media, just like Violet. Everyone knows Karma is a big hit, but does she know Karma struggles living up to her older sister's reputation Wait, who is her older sister? I don't know. Uh, and is always trying, striving not to disappoint everybody. So Karma always knew she'd be attending Rainbow High because literally, oh, here we go. She's a legacy. Here we go. Literally her whole family went to Rainbow High, including her sisters. Karma also often feels like she's living in her older sister's shadow. So Rainbow High is her chance to make a name for herself and stand out. Best way to do that on her wildly popular vlog. So she's another in influencer, but she has a vlog, Content with Karma. Her channel is a must watch for everyone at school and even some big time entertainment producers know Karma is a must watch for pop culture and trend forecast. She's all about social media and sharing her vibrant point of view with her followers. She has a style sense for what's going to be hashtag trending next from the latest fashion to the net. Uh, so when up and coming superstar vlogger Violet Willow gets accepted into Rainbow High, let's just say Karma's watching. Okay, so there's a little bit of a, mm. uh, so da -da -da. Um, in Karma's artwork, she has dark roots, but she doesn't in, um, in real life. Well, I don't know, in doll life. Uh, let's see what else do we need to know. Uh, so relationships, um, when she found out that Violet Willow was accepted to Rainbow High the same year as her, she was furious. Um, mm -hmm. uh, trivia, Jade Hunter's prototype featured her with a tan skin rather than her official pale skin. It's possible that prototype became the doll that is Karma Nichols. Her name is Karma. Her name Karma has caused fans to theorize that she's possibly of Indian descent. That's possible. When she leaked, her name was originally Mia Peridot. Karma is blah, blah, da, da, da. She's the first doll to be, the first doll released to have brown eyes. And now Kaya is the second. Um, an older version of the series two box, Karma was wearing a cap. I was right. Um, and then it was changed and now Karma has darker root, roots, no hat. Um, and then they said it's possible that it's because everybody complained about her hat. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Content with car karma might be a reference to keeping up with the Kardashians because it's all K's. Okay. So I'll put a link down down below to the the uh, the Rainbow High Wiki. They're doing a really great job. It's all fan managed and, and the, they're just doing a really great job. So her color is like not my favorite color. I recently said to someone recently that um, I, have, I have something. So there's something called synesthesia which is where like senses are connected to things that like in usually in the neurotypical brain they aren't connected to like maybe for some people like numbers might have a sound or a flavor or a color um and and for me like some colors well colors kind of have sounds and so <laughs> some colors have sounds that are, I really don't like. This color is a sound I really don't like. <laughs> so 
I think that's why I've been waiting on karma. <laughs> and I feel really bad. But yeah, this color doesn't sound good to me. But let's take a look at her anyway, because I do feel bad about that. So she's got long straight hair. So I'm hoping there isn't a tremendous amount of product going on here. And so there is this whole chartreuse -y thing going on with her. And then her box has the, you know, back of the box group shot that I'm hoping that once we get through this round of dolls that we will then just be on the single big doll um, artwork like we have on Kaya because I really, really like that. All right, so I am going to get Karma Nichols out of the box. Okay, this is crazy. Although I don't like the sound, the color, I don't like the sound this color makes. I love this doll so much. Oh my gosh, there is a cohesiveness and a beauty to this doll. I am just stunned by her beauty. And, and I don't know why I didn't see it in the box, but that's why we take the dolls out of the box. I know some people don't, but you know, I do. So her, she comes with a stand, she comes with a comb, she comes with hangers, which by the way, are yellow. And her comb is green because chartreuse is that yellow green that makes a really annoying sound. So if anybody else out there has synesthesia, I, I would love to hear from you and what your, what your strange wiring connection is. You know, there are people, numbers and music, um, you know, colors and flavors. It's, just, it's an interesting thing. So her hair had very little gel in it, so I was able to comb through it. But it does have, um, because it had rubber bands around it, so it's got a little, you know, it's got like box dents, but they will probably fall out on their own. Now, it's really, it's a little bit hard to see on the camera, but another thing, and this is just what elevates these dolls so much, is this is not just a solid head of chartreuse hair. There are there are strands of white mixed in here. So it's giving this hair highlight and dimension, even though it looks like it's one solid color. Just that little touch is the kind of thing that makes me look at Rainbow High Dolls in awe. They didn't need to do it, it could have just been all one color, but it's not. Like even around her face, some of these strands around her face are white. So let's talk about Karma's face. I think this is my favorite makeup of Wave 2. And perhaps my favorite makeup, I don't know, she's got glitter on her lips. Glitter on her lips. I love this lip color with her skin tone. The amber eyes are beautiful. And then this whole cut crease thing she's got going on with that eye color. And this is so like right now, you know, we're seeing a lot of colored eyeliner that's being used in a really different way in, 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 in kind of like what we're seeing here on Karma. And this is interesting because it's kind of making itself more into the mainstream because we're all wearing masks. And so really doing stuff to your eyes has become so much more important. I love her eyes. I love her eye makeup. I love the eye color. This with her skin tone. Now she does look, my camera always makes everybody look lighter. Sorry about that. We can do a comparison of skin tones if I remember. I even like her outfit. It's not my favorite outfit, but it's okay. This top, see this is the problem I always find when they do these tops on, on the Rainbow High dolls is they don't have enough uh, junk in the front um, to hold up, like to fill the halter tops. So they always sort of gap. Um, and I just don't think it gives us as finished a look. But on the straps, they're not just plain straps. It says rainbow high. Um, we've got, you know, this buckle probably works. We've got belt loops that work. We've got this really strange fashion thing going on here with this sort of torn material over this gauzy but 
sparkly pencil skirt. Um, but then of course they always win me at shoes. Look at the shoes. This little added detail of this extra strap on these shoes. <gasps> that is so cool. That is such a look right there. And look at the, look at the toe straps. How cool. Oh my gosh. And the toe straps. I don't know if my camera's gonna pick it up. They say sparkle. Teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny details. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So then her alternate outfit, I'll show it to you in the boxes and then we will take a moment to change her out. So these are her alternate shoes in their cute little box. And this is her alternate outfit, which I may like better, but we never know until I actually do it, you know? So um, again, thank you MGA for sending me this doll for free. I am going to go switch her into her second outfit and then we can gush some more about how, although there's an annoying bell ringing in my head because of her hair color, it's mostly the hair color, I love her. <laughs> okay, I think for, for once in a long time, I'm like, I love this outfit. Um, I usually don't, right? I love everything about her second outfit. I think she looks amazing in this. I really, really do. I love, okay, so let's take a look. So there's this lace shirt. Oop, hello camera. There's this lace shirt, but it's not just lace. There's detail to the lace. And then it goes up into, we've got more We've got some stitch fabric. We've got the pocket. We've got the, the, the little snaps. We've got another pocket, another lace shoulder. Then we've got some more lace up here. We've got the popped collar, which I absolutely love. Her t-shirt that she wears underneath is a crop top that of course says rainbow. It's so perfect. This skirt, <gasps> look at this skirt. Look, look, look. There's little zipper pulls. I'm always like, look, there's zipper pulls, but I'm always so excited by the zipper pulls. Woo, hello. There we go. It's a little crooked. Let me get, let me get that centered back on your bootay. Cause I keep trying to center the, the zipper and the zipper is not supposed to be centered. There you go. Look at this buckle detail. Look at this zipper. Look at this. This is like a real buckle, which I'm not unbuckling because you know me in buckles. <gasps> I love it. And it's like that shiny, like patent leather pleather. And then these shoes are really good. I don't know. I mean, they're different. These are really different shoes. This is like a completely different style than what we're used to seeing. I mean, we, we, we've seen a lot of sort of repeats of the same style, but I feel like on Karma, both pairs of shoes are really unique. Um, and I think these shoes just go perfectly with this outfit. Oh, there's like, there's like texture, I think, on the bottom of her shoes. Her shoes are black underneath. That's interesting. Hmm. Um, I just think it's, oh, don't you love it? I love it. I really do. I really, really, that's so rare. I usually am like, okay, well, the second outfit's okay, but I want to take this, 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 and this off, you know? But I really actually love it. I'm like so in shock, right? I'm like, oh, I love it. But I do, I do. And let's just grab, I just wanna grab a couple of dolls for skin color comparison. Um, keeping in mind that of course my camera always makes everybody lighter. So this is Sunny. So here's Sunny and Karma side by side. So you can see the difference there. And then here is Crystal who I ended up choosing to keep in that jacket even though I can't get to buckle. Okay, and here's Crystal and Karma side by side. So she's definitely got, um, you know, an olivey complexion, maybe a little bit more tan. I am horrible at naming skin colors. I really am. So it's just not, not my forte. Um, and so you guys who actually, you know, have more of a skin color than I did. My, my skin color is, you know, it's like, it's like 
milk with red splotches on it. It's my skin color. So, um, so I don't know enough about this and I probably should, but I would really appreciate it if you could sort of, a lot of you have been like, oh, like, like this to me looks like it has more pink undertones than yellow undertones. Whereas I felt like maybe like, like, I don't know. Sunny doesn't have, yellow. I don't know. I think it was Kaya. It was Kaya that I felt was like, had a little bit more yellow undertones. See, I don't know. I'm not good with undertones. Um, but anyway, I'm in love with this doll. Thank you so much, MGA. I will put a link to where you can get her on Amazon. It will be an affiliate link. So if you use that link, I might get a little bit of a commission, which goes towards my doll fund. But thank you, MGA, for sending me this doll for free. I am... Wow, blown away by how much I love this doll. And uh, the last Wave 2 doll will be Amaya, and I will be wearing the wig. So I thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again real soon. Love you. Bye.